Hello everyone, I'd like to talk to you a little bit uh, about radical isogenies, which is a topic in isogeny-based cryptography that has applications to a lot of different schemes that use group actions. So one of these schemes that uses group actions is called C-Site, which is a certain post-quantum key exchange protocol. So we have a starting public elliptic curve E0 and Alice and Bob both have a secret element of a certain group that acts on elliptic curves. So what they do is they both act on this starting curve and then they send the result to each other and then they act on what they receive from the other person. And as long as the group action is commutative, uh, which it is in this case, because the C in C side stands for commutative, the result they get in the end is going to be the same. Now, what's really cool about C side is that it has very small keys. So compared to all of the other post-quantum key exchange protocols, it has the smallest keys, but it's relatively slow. And the reason it's slow is because computing the group action is slow. So the secrets of Alice and Bob, they correspond to maps between elliptic curves that we call isogenies. And these maps typically have a very large degree, but they decompose into lots of smaller maps of smaller degrees. So essentially computing the group action boils down to computing chains of isogenies of small degree. So how do you do that? So for example, how do you compute a chain of five isogenies? Uh, one way to do it is to sample on each of the curves in your sequence a point of order five and then to set the next curve to be the quotient by this point. And that works. But it kind of sucks because uh, first of all, generating this random point, it can fail with a certain probability. And then you have to try again. And this is not super good for, for example, constant time implementations. And also, as mentioned, it's quite slow. So the dream would be that instead of having to sample a random point every time, for there to just be maybe some kind of formula, depending on say, the coefficients of the curve, that just always gives me the next curve in the sequence. And that's exactly what radical isogenies does. So, for example, this is radical 5 isogenies. So let's say that we have an elliptic curve that is of this special form for some value of the parameter b. Then the radical 5 isogeny formula tells me what the next curve in the sequence of 5 isogenies is going to be in terms of this parameter b. So it's this very simple expression that depends on the fifth root of b. And this is much faster. So compared to sampling random points, this is much better. And this is currently the fastest way to compute long chains of five isogenies. And you can in fact prove, so you can show that for every degree n, there exists a radical isogeny formula. But the question is, how do you find them? Like, how do you find this magic expression? So that's not super obvious, but uh, that's that's basically what we what we did. So we found a new method to obtain the formulas, which is based on the theory of modular curves that extends the range for the n for which we know the formulas. And then for the formulas that we have, we also rewrote them a little bit so that they are more efficient to evaluate. And we show that this leads to significant speedups for protocols such as Seaside.